Thanks so much, A-Frame. Uh, this is something we've talked about in the past. What, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think governments might purposely propagate conspiracy theories? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what PSYOPs is? History is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Good uh, afternoon. It's um, A Frame was the name I used last time when I was all excited about that plant music album. But um, I have a pet theory that I recently discussed on a uh, on a different Facebook page that um, to me makes a lot of sense. It's about those more kind of you know out there conspiracy theories. You know, your flat earthers, indigo children. Um, hollow earth or you know that kind of like kind of just kooky stuff that doesn't really make much sense and when um i think about it i think that that kind of theory is propagated by the powers that be in order to make the act of questioning the government seem ridiculous um like oh yeah you are you think that um iran Contra is worse than they like to say it was. That means that you probably also think the Earth is flat, etc. Um, that's not necessarily the best example, but that's my point with the more um, out there, easily disproven theories. That the reason those remain so popular is keep um, the more realist view of it. Thanks so much, A-Frame. Uh, this is something we've talked about in the past. What, uh, what do you guys think? Do you think governments might purposely propagate conspiracy theories? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what PSYOPs is? I mean, to a degree, it is about like spreading misinformation for the benefit of your own personal agenda or your own, you know, uh, national agenda. It works really well to discredit a leader you don't like. Yeah, agreed. We also know that uh, there's a common misconception that the FBI coined the term conspiracy theory. That is not true, but it is true that they certainly used uh, manipulation of the media in the wake of the JFK assassination. It's also an ongoing joke on Reddit. If you enjoy reading every like few months, you guys know this, uh, someone will post the, some version of the following question. What conspiracy theories do you believe may actually be true? And inevitably, there's somebody who comes in and says uh, that this red, I believe this Reddit post keeps coming up because governments want to know how much we know. Uh, and that's, I think, meant in the spirit of a chuckle. Uh, but, but I feel like it's absolutely plausible. You know, we talked about how propaganda is conspiratorial in some ways, right? And... The U.S. has propaganda abroad and domestic. Um, we also know that, like you said, Matt, um, this can be very effective when wielded against an opponent in a space of information control, right? Like conspiracy theories about people of the Jewish faith are very, very prevalent in parts of the Middle East, right? And on the rise in uh, parts of East Asia as well. Um, conspiracy theories about the US government are incredibly popular in North Korea, no surprise. And it's not like the people who are falling for some of these are any in any way unintelligent. They're just working with the information they have at the time. And also in the case of the US, the US has done a lot of dirt over the years. So it's we talked about this in the past, like it's quite, you know, I hate to say it when this show is all about exercising critical thought, but if someone comes to us, which happens quite often and pitches an idea of the U S government or some faction thereof conspiring to do something at this juncture, the three of us don't immediately say no <laughs> at this point. You know what I mean? You will see government spreading conspiracy theories in the ancient past and in the modern day, like, uh, I, I would ask you, uh, like Matt, do you think Russia is propagating conspiracy theories to support the conflict in Ukraine? I mean, I think, I think the, I think the West is doing the exact same thing 
to to support their stance of you know soft diplomacy and tactics to try and push Russia after Crimea, and then it kind of backfired a little bit, or maybe it's working out exactly how they want. I think those kinds of theories that get floated around and put on social media on purpose by government agents, uh, I I think. I don't know. I, th- I know that that's real because I've seen it. It's been proven that that federal funds go to this kind of thing. No, no, there are very few not good just guys doing left. It. I mean, I would also say uh, to your point, a frame, it's not just governments in general. Right. We can accept that all governments will, as rat- rational actors, use any means available to kind of exert their goals. And often the goals that they are chasing um inherently require damage to other actors right states are very self-centered you know if any any state you can imagine yes including bhutan uh, (laughs) any state you can imagine if it were a person would be a pretty bad person in terms of their behavior Uh, and that's again not a ding governments are governments are a big part of the way the world works and corporations aren't immune either. Of course not. I, I just feel like if, if, if anyone's got this tactic in their playbook, then, you know, logically speaking, and to any opponent to that government or, uh, or company or hacker group or whomever it might be is, is going to have to play just as dirty. There's, there's no way there's two ways around it. If people are using misinformation or disinformation as a as a tactic or a strategy, then. What do you think? The truth will set you free? That's I mean, no, you have to be just as dirty. That's the only way. And I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying it's how it works. So I think for us to believe that, you know, the the the, the acts that we see other quote unquote bad actor governments or whatever, you know, doing that we're somehow immune to on on our shining castle on the hill. Yeah. I think that's it's I mean to the point silly, about uh corporations, uh which are you read my mind there, Matt, too. Uh, it reminds me of one of my favorite recent urban legends or internet legends. It's not proven, but there has been this long standing conspiracy that Walt Disney was uh, frozen, his entire body, or his head was frozen, uh, with the hopes being that he could one day be resurrected. That's not the conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory that's interesting is this. It's the idea that Disney made the movie Frozen and named it Frozen so that when people search Disney Frozen, they would stop running into that story about Walt Disney being frozen. Instead, they would run into the movie. Um, It is, I I don't know about the motivations, but it's true that you're going to see references to the film if you Google or use your search browser of choice to search uh, Frozen Disney. It's not quite the, it isn't quite the same thing, but we also see um, more closer, I think, to what we're talking about here. Um, A-frame is the, the character assassination smear tactics used by big oil or big tobacco when they want to discredit a scientist, right? Or they want to discredit a politician. You can, I mean, we have said this point before, uh, the danger of using of weaponizing the phrase conspiracy theory is that it makes some it, it draws a false equivalency between some patently untrue things and some very real very dangerous things you know i mean it's just like uh, just like you're describing there's not just like you're describing it's very convenient it's insidious uh for someone to say hey this person is is exposing too much about the uh, CIA, right? And uh, what was it? Freedom Airlines? Was that the one? Air America? That was it. I think it was Air, Air America. Yeah. So this person is right. getting mm-hmm. too close to the mm-hmm. truth about Air America and the CIA and the drug trade. So let's smear them as a conspiracy theorist and let's spre- let's say they believe in all these other crazy things. I don't know. I mean... Factions of the U.S. government spread conspiracy theories about the election, right, in in recent years. Uh, I, I don't have specific proof. This would need to be more of an episode, I think, for us to dive in and say, here are the following examples. 
of when someone tried to cover up something true with something um, that seems kind of bonkers or distracting, you know, like ask yourself this when you see um, so-called conspiratorial investigations on television or, you know, on your streaming platform of choice. How come they talk about like hunting ghosts? How come they talk about hunting Bigfoot? There's room for that. But why aren't they talking about lobbying? Why aren't they talking? Well, you know what I mean? Why aren't they talking about ongoing COINTELPRO ops or assassinations? It's because that stuff's true.